Cronova, a name that may not be synonymous in the world of multimeters, but boy, is it popular on Amazon. We're talking thousands and thousands again, so-called satisfied, happy multimeter users. Well, do these people actually know what a multimeter is? Let's find out. start off the price and while this is an exorbitant price for a cheapo it doesn't really fall into the cheapo category per se but you know what 79 dollars us uh, will get you this multimeter yeah unbelievable amount of money for uh this chronova anyway in the box cat 3 600 volt test leads um they're okay nothing to write home about per se a little bit small a little short uh, for my liking but uh, that being said they did pass the pull test and uh, you know they will suffice they have a nice long shroud as well that shroud is going to fit in there nice and snug not going anywhere so that is a good thing as well you get and this is a nice addition. You get this decent set of crocodile test leads and they are really long. I'd say about three and a half, four feet in length. So um, great addition to any toolkit, those crocodile test leads. Good job, Cronova. Finally, you get this uh, thermocouple because yes, the Cronova does do temperature and your user manual all in English gives us all the lowdown, the specs, a couple of schematics diagrams what have you um, pretty decent pretty in-depth little manual good stuff and Cronova has not forgotten about what's inside two glass fuses as well in case you blow them and let's not forget about this big gorgeous Cronova case a well zippered firm hard protection uh, netting inside gonna hold that multimeter in there nice and snug with all of those uh, goodies so uh, Cronova really hit the nail on the head when they gave us this multimeter case good stuff now first looks are well it looks like a cheapo it doesn't look like a, an 80 hundred dollar multimeter that's a hundred dollar canadian almost um yeah it has that sort of you know v uh kind of a feel look to it i i don't know i just don't get the impression that this is you know a hundred dollar test instrument um the boot does come off as you can see and uh, we do have that nice tilt stand on the back now that tilt stand goes way down there but that's only because it's not screwed in all the way uh, i'll fix that in a second but generally speaking first impressions are um you know it's it's okay in terms of the selector switch you know it's not bad it's not bad uh, it has a kind of a slightly bizarre uh, movement to it you, you it's almost like you know you're switching the combination on a vault uh yeah a little bit different definitely takes some pressure though to move those ranges um it, it's not bad it's not bad oh my god is it really that time again oh yes it is it's time for <laughs> Today's event, oh, it's something that just gets me on fire. Talking about a match. Today's event is about multimeters. Cheapo multimeters. That ain't cheap. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Get real. 50 bucks. Come on, I man. this one go for close to 70. Just what? review this sucker. <laughs> Cronova, what are you smoking? Man, oh, man. Oh, uh, actually, this one's only five bucks. Next, saw this one for close to 100. Insane. When the heck our manufacturers are going to stop charging big bucks and get real down to earth and charge the proper penny for these cheapos. <laughs> Nuts! Now look at that display, 6,000 counts. Um, it, it's okay, the font is a little weird for me. It's kind of off to an angle a little bit, you know? It's okay though, it's big, it's easy on the eyes, and it does have a backlight. I said it does have a backlight. Wrong one. There we go. <sighs> yeah, anyway. Um, so we have some bleeding over here at the top uh, left side. Uh, it's, it's not bad, not bad. In terms of backlights, we've definitely seen worse than this. Now, does that backlight stay on for any length of time? Good question. And the answer is no. It stays on for about a minute and that's it. Lights out in Georgia. Come on, Cronova. Leave the damn backlight on. As well in the back, you have that flashlight, which I was turning on erroneously. And hold it down and the flashlight is off. Turn it on and it's back on. So yeah, flashlight. What's not look to like? Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Oops. 
Take a closer look at that selector switch starting at the 9 o'clock or off position. Millivolts AC DC. AC volts up to 750 volts. DC volts up to 1000 volts. Resistance. Diode. Continuity. Capacitance up to 20 millifarad. Frequency. Temperature in both Celsius and Fahrenheit. Non contact voltage. Microamps AC DC. Milliamps AC DC. Finally, high current amps AC DC up to 10 amps. HFE or transistor top left of the meter, we have our hold slash backlight. In the middle, we have our HFE inputs for the transistor test. Finally, in the far right, we have our select slash flashlight. Bottom of the multimeter, we have our milliamp microamp inputs, high current amps. Top of the right, we have our voltage, resistance, frequency, continuity, diode, and temperature. And below that, we have our common or ground. Starting off with the DC precision voltage reference, 5.000 volts is what we want. 5.013 is what we get. Trying the 10 volt precision reference now. 10.02 volts, 10.00 is what we wanted. Hey, that's awfully close. I'm looking for some diode satisfaction. Go figure. Starting off with a standard diode. And there's a forward voltage drop. No audible beep, that's too bad. Red LED lit with a forward voltage drop over the yellow. Looking good over to the green. Yes, the blue. Oh, no forward voltage drop. Oh, no, there it is, there it is. My bad. Finally, the white. Hey, five for five. Good stuff. Just shy of four volts in diode mode, 3.971 volts. Beauty. Continuity, baby, my favorite time. Stock default test probes, three, two, one. Hey, not bad. Latched, fairly loud. And we have that nice visual at the top. Let's try the probe masters. Probe masters, three, two, one. Oh yeah. I'd say pretty well identical, maybe just a tad faster in the latching department. And that nice visual again, oh yeah. Seventy-five decibels, maximum output volume in continuity. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so far it's not bad. I gotta say it's taken everything I'm throwing at it and it's not quitting. So uh, is it better than any of these cheapos? Well, no, not yet, but anyway, nothing bad to say yet. We're looking at resistance now. 100 ohm with this uh, resistor cluster and uh, yeah, 99.5. Let's try 10K. Coming in as 9.95, not too shabby. Let's try 1K. 0.995. Let's try 100 ohm. Oopsie, try that again. Hundred one point seven. Ten 10 ohm. Yes, spot on. One ohm. 0.9 of an ohm, looking good, all right. 0.5 of an ohm now. There we go, 0.4, wow. In the resistance department, this thing is looking good. Quick look at NCV now here. Let's just try it with that studio lighting, shall we? And oh yeah. No worries here. Mr. Cronova is picking up that NCV uh, the light switch looking. itself. Just cannot find that uh, power anywhere, anywhere in that light switch. So, oh, that's too bad. We had higher hopes on Mr. NCV for the Cronova. Damn. All right, let's see how fast this can get to a 10 millifarad capacitor. Thinking, it's thinking. Come on, Cronova. You can do it. 10 millifarad. There we are, 9.58 millifarad. 9.6. And survey says, good stuff. That wasn't too bad. Let's look down in the lower range of microfarads. Uh, nine microfarad to be exact. Not so good here, coming up is 7.3. 7.3. 
Let's try four microfarad coming in as 3.2, two microfarad coming in as 1.764, finally one microfarad coming in at 885 nanofarad already. 900 nanofarad coming in as 800, 500 nanofarad coming as 455. So not quite as precise in the lower capacitance range. There you go. And as well, the Cronova does have that nice ambient sensor, 23 degrees Celsius. Hit the select switch, puts us into Fahrenheit, 74 degrees Fahrenheit in the lab. Oh, another day in Clearwater. Speaking of Clearwater, big shout out to all my viewers in beautiful Bermuda. Whoa, you guys are amazing. Glad to have you on board. Already teardown time is upon us, and I'm telling you, this is one crazy freaking boot to try and remove. Oh my god, I've been at this thing for like five minutes, and it's like, oh my god. Okay, finally comes off here, and oh man, whoa, that was just crazy. So four Phillips screws uh, on the back of the meter. By the way, this East SATA, or SATA, I should say, screwdriver set sent to me years ago, actually, from SATA. Um, I got to say thanks again, people. I never did review it per se, but this has been a go-to on my bench. It's been a great little addition. So the SATA screwdriver set, highly recommend it. Alrighty, here we are. Let's see what we have. We need a Phillips. Open this baby up. One, two, three, four. By the way, of course, worth mentioning, uh, even though that uh, boot is hard to take off, the Cronova, really you don't have to. Um, you have easy access to that uh, battery well uh, with a nice brass threaded insert as well. And of course, easy fuse access over here. So um, no need really to take this boot off per se. Okay, here we go. Finally, four screws removed and bada boom, bada bing, bada bang. Oh my God. We have shielding. Holy mothers. Yes, we have shielding on the back of this multimeter covering the uh, main IC, as you can see. Wow, good stuff, Cranovo. You know, you just got a star on this review for that amazing, good job. Wow, love it. The actual uh, assembly here, the uh, battery connector, uh, connects to the other side of the PCB. I kind of like this idea actually. Simple, elegant solution, no soldering required, and uh, easy uh, accessibility if you need to remove it. Good stuff. Now let's take a closer look at that input protection, shall we? Starting off the very bottom, tiny little current shunt on the high current side. Wow, that thing is tiny. Um, we have two fuses here, one glass, one ceramic. Ceramic is on the high amp, high current side. The uh, glass fuse is on the low milliamp side. 10 amp, 250 volt on the current, and the glass is 600 milliamp, 250 volt. What else besides the fuses? Well, we have two MOVs and two PTCs. Now, those PTCs are tiny. Those are on the voltage side. Uh, those MOVs themselves, nice and chunky, and I gotta say that is always a pleasant surprise. Input jacks themselves are of the split variety, but they have an interesting little uh, twist off here that kind of gives the um, some added uh, stability in terms of uh, taking in, taking out. You can see that little clisp, clasp rather mechanism here. Kind of funky. I like the design. Uh, different. And yeah, those mobs are on the uh, current side, the high current side, as you can see. Good stuff. Also have a diode clamp at the top, uh, moving up the board here. Nice PCB, very clean. Uh, looks to be on the thicker side as well. Uh, main IC is cobbed, that's too bad. Um, we have a crystal oscillator over here at the top as well. Um, there's our speaker, all in all looking pretty good. We do have a few uh, surface mount components, um, these transistors for instance. Majority though of this PCB is SMD. Finally over here we have that grounding spring as well and here's the LED for the flashlight. Alrighty, let's put this back together, come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the Cronova 890Z. Wow, it is a mixed bag. All around, it's a pretty decent performer. Does what it needs to do. No worries about performance here. It seems to be pretty good right out of the box. True RMS, um, fast to range. Overall build quality is pretty good. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, that's where it ends. The big bad point out of all of this is the fact that you're spending close to $100 Canadian, around $75, $80 US for what is, in effect, 
a cheap old multimeter. Besides the amazing shielding, honestly, there was nothing that made me think that this was worth that price hike. Build quality was good, but really no better than a Habo test. And overall design functionality falls right in there with the rest of the meters in that cheapo zone. So Cronova, not sure why you put a price premium on this meter, but at the end of the day, I don't think it's worth it. Cronova 890Z gets a solid three out of five stars. Yeah, you could definitely do worse than Cronova, but for this price, man oh man, you could definitely do better. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.